go down to Rome. So, so you're Minnesota fighting Vikings, blah, 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 trying to find the quarterback uh, of the future. And pro days are going on as we hurtle towards the NFL draft. And, of course, today is North Carolina. Come on and raise up Drake May, uh, the pride of Chapel Hill, the pride of Charlotte, is getting it on today at his pro day. And, of yes, uh, and of course, yes. Uh, did you know that Josh McCown coached Drake May in high school? Good, t- good times. And uh, Josh McCown, uh, likely uh, Grant Udinsky, are uh, going to be in attendance in Chapel Hill. Uh, take a look at, I don't know, Tez Walker, Miles My- Murphy. I don't know. But now uh, the crown jewel, of course, is Drake May. And uh, th- this is basically what the Vikings have been doing, where they send McCown and generally Udinsky to the pro days. And then Quasi and Kevin O'Connell uh, arranging these uh, private workouts uh, with J.J. McCarthy, uh, likely uh, uh, likely uh, Jaden Daniels uh, soon. And uh, sure, sure, why not? Penix? Why not? But I'm sure they'll do the same thing uh, with Drake May. And, and yes, uh, McCown reportedly will be in attendance. Uh, Kramer Strib uh, being around McCown at practice every day like that rubbed off on him and made him want to be that kind of leader, said one of Drake May's former teammates. Uh, so, of course, the, the connection is there. And uh, McCown will be in attendance today. And, yes, I mean, you know, we've gone over the story you know, 17,000 times. So, in 2020, uh, when Josh before before Josh McCown played his final season uh, as a backup with the Texans, uh, he was coaching high school football uh, in Charlotte, and Drake May was a starting quarterback before he took a scholarship to UNC. And yes, he he did start uh, Drake May uh, over his own son, which kind of says a lot. I mean, th- there's a lot of coaches who definitely uh, would be like, "Hey, hey, Drake May, uh, you, you know you're pretty good, but how about trying defensive end, buddy? I mean, you're pretty tall." Who knows, man? But uh, yes, the the catch, connection is certainly there, and all, all the fun stories are coming out. Where Alec Lewis pointed this one out. So, all right, so this one on its face sounds almost mythic, uh, pretty wild. When Josh McCown, Vikings QB coach, uh, was in the Jets' quarterback room with Sam Darnold, a Vikings QB, they would review Drake May's film together in some of their off time. So, on the surface, it's one of those stories that sound great, and it sounds like almost like revisionist history. Like after Drake May and Josh McCown and Kevin O'Connell win a dozen drone parties, they'd be like, "Wow, they're watching this high school tape." But then you remember, so Drake May's senior season was 2020 when McCown coached him uh, in high school, and McCown's last year with the Jets was 2018. Uh, so he was there for two seasons, uh, had one year crossover with uh, Sam Darnold 2018 when Darnold was a rookie. So. 2018 was Drake May's sophomore season, so they're during their off time, which, I don't know, like the Jets were booty, the Jets were ass, thank you during that time, but during their off time, they're grinding film uh, from a high school sophomore. I don't know, man, I, I, I don't know, but, I mean, it does sound good, yeah, hell, may, maybe it did happen, it's, it's certainly possible, but, you know, Drake May... So Drake May had uh, a phenomenal sophomore season, uh, junior season, a, more, a little bit more high variance as he was pressing the issue a little bit. It's almost a carbon copy of what happened with Caleb Williams, where Caleb Williams was a Heisman winner in 2022, uh, 2023. Some of his supporting cast went bye-bye. Uh, and, I, I mean, North Carolina. So Carolina lost their top two receivers. Uh, Josh Downs uh, went to the uh, went to the Colts. And, I mean, Drake May, I mean, working with a new cast that was still trying to do the damn thing, but maybe he tried to do too much. But that's the thing here with the Vikings. Sporting cast is going to be pretty damn good. And, and, of course, beyond the whole McCown and May connections, I feel like, I feel like Kevin O'Connell may have a kinship with a, a tall, uber-athletic, rocket-arm quarterback who tried to do too much. I don't know. I don't know, man. But but either way, the Vikings. I I I'm not buying the the narratives that May could fall. Like I, I don't think that this is a Will Levis situation. I think that if Washington goes with Daniels at two, which I think is a distinct possibility, I think the Vikings. It would behoove them if McCown is the guy. Yeah, McCown is obviously the guy. But if Drake May is the guy, I go up to three and go get him. Right and. I, you know, we, we've we've had an open minder in this entire draft process, and I do think to a degree the Vikings may be relatively even on Drake May and Jane Daniels and J.J. McCarthy, maybe even Michael Penix. And as uh, O'Connell said, like it's good to fall in love with multiple quarterbacks. And if they determine that one of these guys is the guy, whether it's May, whether it's McCarthy, whether it's uh, Daniels, whether it's Penix, go get them. Go get your dude and go from there, man. But it is fun. All the McCown and May connections is good. And also, it does give the Vikings a a bit of a competitive advantage because uh, obviously people change uh, over a handful of years. And 
you know, pe- people are, are maturing, especially uh, y- young people in, in that strata that May is in. But Makan w- will already know how. What does he generally like around his teammates? How does he treat his friends? How does he treat uh, you know coaches, uh, support staff, people? How coachable is he? Is he receptive to criticism? Is uh, do you, it has to be carrot or stick or or, or uh, whatever? So I think the Vikings really do have the inside track on uh, some of these guys, especially uh, Drake May and. I'm sold, man. Like, the the whole thing about it is, like, yeah, Drake May will make mistakes. Yes, he will force it. Yes, he will try to play some hero ball from time to time. But you know who else does that? Patrick Mahomes. You know who else does that? Josh Allen. But you you know who else did did that? (laughs) Sam Darnold with the Jets. I don't know, man. I don't know, but uh, either way, getting some good insight, so there you go. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings QB coach Josh McCown uh, will be at Drake May's Pro Day. How's he? You, you don't know me, man. I'll listen to your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. So I'll support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>